Today, I'm going to be talking about a condition called toxic neuropathy. So what is toxic neuropathy? How does one get it? How does one diagnose this condition? And what to do regarding the treatment? So as the name itself tells you, neuropathy means involvement of the nerves. And these are mostly the nerves which come from the spinal cord and they travel to the arms or to the legs and they are involved. Toxic means that there is a toxic substances which are damaging either the internal part of the nerve or the lining of the nerve. So what are these toxins and where does one get exposed to them? Certain professions, especially in things like the printing press, the photocopying, that you know you are exposed to a lot of these chemicals and these chemicals are very harmful for the nerves. What about other things such as anti-cancer drugs? Many of them can harm the integrity of the nerve or the function of the nerve resulting in a toxic neuropathy. Exposure to certain heavy metals, which you may be aware of or not in certain cases of poisoning, such as lead, arsenic, mercury, they can all damage the nerves. And then we have a big thing, which is the alcohol consumption. So alcohol also can damage the nerves. And thus, these are few conditions or situations where one can get a toxic neuropathy. So what are the symptoms of this toxic neuropathy? Like any other nerve involvement, they can present with irritation of the nerve fibers, which can produce tingling, pins and needle sensation. They can also produce a lot of pain. And this pain is sometimes burning in character, sometimes just very severe in nature, not allowing oneself and not settling down with anything. The next set of fibers which can be involved can be motor fibers. You can get something called as a wrist drop or a foot drop, or there could be just bilateral weakness that you can't pick up small things and fine movements can get affected. Walking can get affected, balance can get affected. So these are the some of the signs and symptoms. How, what else can happen? So many times, these, though the agent is toxic to the nerves, some other manifestations can come up. You can see on the skin, sometimes pigmentation can come. Sometimes there can be something on the nails. Uh, there can be eye involvement, there can be liver involvement with alcohol. So one has to look for other systemic involvements which are particularly common with certain types of uh, metals, etc. or alcohol. So how does one diagnose this condition? Uh, first of all, the symptoms that there is a nerve involvement. Second, that these are progressive symptoms. That means they are worsening gradually. You may have some leads or pointers that alcohol consumption, the occupational history, receiving some anti-cancer drugs, etc. And some of these then can also be measured in the blood. That means you can get the blood level of the arsenic, lead, etc. You can do a nerve test to understand the extent of damage, the type of damage and which nerves have got involved. So how does one treat this? This is a uh, Treated number one is, of course, to eliminate the toxin. But as far as possible, remove the toxins which are known to cause these nerve problems. In the case of something like an anti-cancer drug, you have to talk and discuss and weigh the risk and benefit. And depending upon the type of neuropathy, the extent of neuropathy, the medicines may have to be altered. But of course, besides uh, all this, when you are evaluating a person with toxic neuropathy, one should also exclude other common causes. So you should look for diabetic uh, situation, any other immune causes and things like that. So that this is exclusion, but also to confirm about the toxins. So I do hope this has been helpful. And for those who need further evaluation or help, we are there to help you. Thank you for your attention.